Okay. Let me say this. I don't look down upon anyone. I don't think I am better than anyone. I want to make it to heaven. I think being prideful or arrogant, excuse me, is sinful. I believe I make these videos to help others, right? I am not getting paid to make these videos. I am not. I believe I have the option to, but I don't want to make these videos for the wrong intention, if I am saying that correctly. I don't want my intention to make videos be about money if that makes any sense. Okay. I believe I have made videos and probably spoke to people in person something like, I believe this life is a huge test. And you may say to me, Kevin, what do you mean? Okay. Give me time. I believe this life is a huge test. Okay. I think we are supposed to become more like Jesus Christ, right? Okay. So do Jesus Christ have an anger problem? Huh? Do Jesus Christ have an anger problem? No, right? So what can God do to help you get rid of that anger problem? Now, can God snap his fingers and take away your anger problem? I think so, right? I think so, but from my limited understanding, which I don't know everything, but I think from my experiences and probably from some other people's experiences, I believe what God does is test us. For instance, Let's say I have an anger problem. What can God do to take it away? I believe what he can do is bring difficult people around me. And you may say, why in the world would God do that? I'm telling you, I believe this is what God does. Okay, if I want to get stronger, should I lay in bed all day long and try not to move? If I want bigger biceps, bigger triceps, bigger chest, back, quads, hamstrings, and stuff like that, should I just, not bigger, but yeah, bigger in muscles, I mean, not just, you know, fat and stuff like that. So if I want bigger muscles, I guess I can say, in those areas, should I lay around in bed all day and do nothing? I don't think your muscles will grow naturally if you do that, unless you take some type of drug or something like that. Even then, I don't know, but to, I guess, I guess, to grow it naturally, I believe you have to put some type of, I guess, pressure on those muscles, right? I think so. 
So let's say I have an anger problem. Can God take away my anger problem by allowing only good things to happen to me in life? Yes, I believe God can snap his fingers and take away my anger problem, for example, if I have an anger problem. If God need to test us to take away bad qualities in us, okay, can God take away my anger problem by allowing only good things in my life. I don't think so. If he follows that criteria or that path, I don't think so. Myself. And I used to have a very, 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 very bad anger problem. And I think what happened, difficult people, how can I say this? I believe the thing that happened, I had to continue to deal with difficult people. Now, what I could have done, chose to not be humble, choose to yell all the time and curse and blah, 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 blah. If I do that, I believe I would still have that anger problem, right? So what do you believe I did? I believe what I did, and it has been a while since around that time, I think, But what I believe I started to do back then is close my mouth more. I believe I started to submit myself more. I believe I had to, even though that person may have been wrong, I had to be humble. And I think as I did that more and more and more, I believe God did something, I have no idea what, to where it is easier to control my attitude. I am telling you, I believe it is easier to control my attitude. And also, I used to have a very bad hate problem. I believe I did. And I believe what God did, I was placed, I believe I was placed in situations where I had to do things in love. Do you understand what I am saying. Now, did I do everything right all the time? No, but I believe what I did, I believe I started to do acts of love to people. Now, and I think <laughs> it is so amazing. I have a very, very strong love for people very strong. I don't think it has ever been this way ever in my life unless I was a baby and I had that type of love. I have no idea. But from my thinking, I guess, the way I love people is so strong. <laughs> Why do you believe it got that way? Yes, I can say God's grace, but I believe it got that way from being tested. Please listen to what I am saying. Some people may say, Kevin, you are a man of God. You are nice. You are kind. And how did I get that way? I was not always that way. I believe when I was in sin, I was 
I guess, somewhat kind. Maybe a tiny bit kind, I guess. But now, I am so far different, I believe, from how I used to be. And I believe I am this way is from, yes, God's grace, but what I think also is from being tested. So, man, please listen to what I am saying, please. What you are going through, perhaps, is to better you. Man, oh, please listen. You may believe what you are going through is bad, and it may be bad, but what you may be going through may better you if you choose to do the right things. So if my anger is being tested, I should not be yelling and cussing and, and breaking stuff and, and fighting and doing this and doing that. I should do what the word says, right? What does the Bible say about anger or about how I should treat people? Man, if I do that, I believe a change will occur if I consistently do that. I am not saying that I am going to do everything right. I am not saying that you are going to do everything right, but try to be consistent in doing the right thing, man. Please listen. Let me stop here. God bless you.